In today's video, we will be introducing an exciting new feature to the Trip Planner app. It will add the ability for users to add activities to their trips, set their categories and dates, and upload files and images for each activity. We will update the Amplify API to retrieve and present the trips activities data. The API is a GraphQL API that uses AWS AppSync. I updated the Amplify API schema.graphql file to create a data model for activities, introduce an enum for activity categories, and establish a one-to-many relationship between the trip and activity. This will enable the app to store and manage activity data and associate it with the appropriate trip. To generate the Dart files for the app's model, I run the command Amplify Code Gen Models in the root folder of the app. The Amplify CLI created the necessary Dart files in the lab models folder. To deploy the changes and create the necessary cloud resources, I executed the command amplify push. This ensured that the updated schema and associated resources were created in the cloud and ready for use by the app. To organize the code for the new activity feature, I added a new folder inside lib features and named it activity. Within this folder, I created four subfolders, services, data, controller, and UI. This will help keep the code organized and make it easier to maintain and update in the future. I updated the routes.dart file to add the enum values for the activity feature. I created a new Dart file inside the activity services folder and call it activities data store service.dart. I updated the file to create the activities data store service, which contains several functions such as listen to activities for trip, which will query the data store and streams a list of activities for a specific trip. It will also contain functions for adding, deleting, or updating the activities in the Amplify data store. I created activities repository.dart file inside the activity data folder. In this file, I created the activities repository to abstract away the networking code from the activities data store service. Next, I created the activities list controller Dart file inside the activity controller folder. Here I created the activities list controller that the UI will use to add a new activity by creating the activity item and pass it as a parameter to the activities repository.add function. In the UI folder, I created the Dart file activity category icon. In this file, I created a stateless widget to allow the app displaying an icon representing the activities category. Next, I created the folder activities list inside the UI folder. Inside it, I created the file activitieslist.dart. The activitieslist 
is a consumer widget that will use the activities stream provider to get a list of activities for a specific trip. It will display those activities in a timeline. Next, I created the folder Add Activity inside the Activity UI folder. Inside that folder, I created the file addactivitypage.dart. In this file, I created a consumer widget to present a form to the user to submit the required details to create a new activity for the selected trip. The form will pass the details to the add function of the activities list controller. I updated the floating action button inside the trip page dart file to open the add activity page. Additionally, I updated it to display the list of activities for the trip. Next, I added the route of the add activity page to the router dart file. I created the activity controller inside the controller folder. The UI will use this controller for editing and deleting an activity using its ID. It will also use it for uploading a file or an image for the activity. I created a new folder inside the activity UI folder and named it activity page. Inside it, I created the file delete activity dialog. I updated the file to display a dialog for the user to confirm deleting the selected activity. I then created the Dart file activity page. This is a consumer widget that will use the controller to get the activity details using the activity ID and then display it. Additionally, the users can use this page to delete an activity or to upload a file or an image for the selected activity. I updated the router Dart file to add the route of the activity page. I created the folder Edit Activity and inside it I created the Dart file Edit Activity Page. This file will present a form to the user to update the details of the selected activity. When the user completes the changes and submit the details, the file will use the activity controller provider to update this activity. Finally, I added the edit activity page route to the router Dart file. I ran the app and created a trip.
I added a few activities to it and the app displayed them in a timeline. I can successfully edit or delete the activity.